Well, when it comes to finding love, sometimes it's location, 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 or maybe it's just about being with the right crowd that shares your similar interests. All right, so let's say you consider yourself to be kind of on the nerdy side. Where would you go to find other nerds? Bathsheba Berman of the, is the founder of Nerds at Heart and has come up with the perfect solution. She says, supernatural-themed mixer. <laughs> All right. Well, so much. Thanks so much for being here. All right. Thanks so much for having me. Let's let's cover the stereotype though first. I mean, are are, are we uh, being unkind to people here by saying you know this is a, an event for nerds? Ooh. So we actually mean nerd as a badge of honor. Right. And uh, we let people self-identify. So, <laughs> and the kind of the guideline is if you think you are, you probably are. If you're in the club, then you should know that you should. Yeah. Come this, right? <laughs> okay, cool. Indeed. So, I mean, what, what makes you a nerd as opposed to, you know, just, you know, anyone who would go to a regular, you know, dating event? What, what, what would be a requirement? Sure. So they're throwing some new terms around these days, which would be um, sapiosexual, se sapiosexual or sapiophile. Uh, and what it really means is either you have a love of knowledge and kind of a curious mind, uh, or you think it's sexy in others. And we're looking at some pictures here. So. Uh, Tell us a little bit about how the event works in terms of trying to bring people together and make some of these connections. Sure, so we have two formats. The one that's coming up is our classic board games and trivia format. And uh, folks, well, so we start out with an icebreaker to determine who among us is the biggest nerd. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, then uh, folks break up into groups of about eight for mm -hmm. rounds of board games and shorter rounds of trivia. There's just a real nice dynamic of, uh, first of all, you know, having board games as a way to kind of facilitate conversation, mm -hmm. um, and then also kind of having that, that group dynamic as well. And you found a lot of success with this? Yeah, we have found success. We started in Chicago, so we have several success stories there, including a few babies, and uh, we actually have um, a recent uh, success story in Milwaukee, um, Bridget and Drew, who we're really excited about. Everyone's excited about Bridget and Drew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for being here and sharing it with us, and uh, let's hope we can get some more people out there. There is a $30 registration fee to take part in the event. It is coming up Saturday from 5 to 8 at Wine Maniacs on the River. And as always, we've got all you need to know up on our website, tmj4.com. Good luck with it. Thanks, thanks for being so here. Well, it is Friday. That means we have a gardening tip from Melinda Myers. That is coming up next. And Brian Goddard is back with your Storm Team 4 forecast. And here is a live picture from our Tower Cam in Waukesha.